This demo will show you how to set up JFrog Artifactory and start using it in less than one minute. JFrog Artifactory is a universal artifact repository manager. It fully supports software packages created with any language or technology. It works with different build tools, CI servers, and packaging systems. After requesting an Artifactory license or as part of an upgrade notification, you will get an email from JFrog containing a link to a special bin tray page with Artifactory downloads. Let's start the Artifactory Pro standalone version download. This page is powered by JFrog Bintray, a modern, feature-rich distribution platform. For example, you can use Bintray to get notifications when new versions of Artifactory are released. After the download is complete, we'll extract the downloaded file. Now let's start up Artifactory. First, just run the artifactory.bat file or the artifactory.sh file that's under the bin directory. And go! There are more ways to install and run Artifactory, RPM, Debian, Mac Homebrew, Docker Container, and more. Now that Artifactory is up and running, let's quickly set up the required configuration for our use. We'll open the browser to the default Artifactory homepage. When first launched, the Artifactory setup wizard will pop up. This wizard will easily walk us through the setup process. The first step is to provide the license key. Simply paste it here. This can be either your trial or permanent license. We will skip the password change and keep the original one. And we will also skip the proxy configuration. This is used for advanced internet configuration and can be revised later on if necessary. Now we can choose which type of repository we would like to set up. As a universal repository manager, Artifactory supports a great list of technologies out of the box. We will choose Vagrant. And done! The setup wizard creates the Vagrant local repository. Here we can see our newly created repository. For instructions on how to work with Artifactory, the Set Me Up button is your best friend. It is time to put Artifactory Vagrant repository to use. The pop-up window is context sensitive and shows the relevant information based on the focus location in the tree browser. Copy the curl command from the UI and update the copied command with the artifact metadata to include the box name, provider, and version. This will start deploying a box to the newly created repository. Once the file is deployed, we can see it in the local repository. The metadata we attach to the artifact is saved with it as well. We can use the property search to find boxes based on this information, for example, searching for all boxes that can run on VirtualBox. Now it's time to install our box in Vagrant. The Set Me Up resolution instructions are simple. We will use the Vagrant box add command to add the box to Vagrant. And the box was successfully added from the Artifactory local repository. This concludes our Vagrant setup screencast. You can use Artifactory to work with any build technology like Maven, Gradle, Ivy, Conan, and Ant and manage your artifacts for all your technologies. Just to name a few, Java, Docker, Debian, Nougat, RubyGems, NPM, and many more. Artifactory also offers tight integration with Jenkins, Hudson, TeamCity, Bamboo, and any other CI server. This concludes our introductory Artifactory setup. You are welcome to visit our user guide to discover more features and YouTube channel for additional screencasts.